Hello and welcome. Next I planned to show you that how to disassemble and assemble piston rings to this car's piston. And, and here we have car piston, this is piston, this is connection road and these small parts in here, they are those piston rings. And now I take closer view and there is three piston rings. First compression ring, second compression ring and that lowest part in here is oil ring. And normally when we replace this and we take these piston rings out and in, we install this and we take those out in these pistons. There is only one risk that we could we could broken and cut this piston ring because this piston ring is not very flexible material and in, in later this video I will show that how this broken could happen but first I will show that how we take this piston ring away and this, this piston and piston ring is from German Volkswagen car and uh, this is quite new car in 2000 century car like 5 to 5 to 10 years old car and and then when I start to take these piston rings out there is many many way but best way is that we don't destroy those rings and it happens so that, that this piston ring opening always happened that 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 this is my here is small stick that, that we need to first locate this hole where this piston ring ends and start and this hole is this key point when we start to take those piston rings out and it happens that that we need to little bit lift this piston ring up in this pump and 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 then I need to insert these piston rings higher so that I press that down area in here in this way and then those piston rings go up and then when I down this in here they are in in and first in up and then I take this first piston ring up and a little bit move move it up here is here is this ring, I, I little bit move it up and I, I move in same way it in here. And this is this first part. And little bit move at and then this looks this ring looks like in in this way. This is the first step. And and always keep this finger so that it don't drop in back in this hole. But I can do it again. I insert my thumb and a little bit I I lift up this ring. Sometimes it can be a little bit oily. Now it's there, good. And then I start this job that that I carefully move. I, I keep that in that thumb in here. And then I a little bit move that up and I rotate carefully this ring in this this way. And in that position it all goes nicely out in this hole. And this was first compressor ring. And then second compressor ring, same idea like we press in here, that side and then these rings are up and then I start to rotate and it's it's good to sometimes rotate in this next next hole and then after that away but also of course you can take move that second ring in here and when it, it goes in this direction then only carefully away okay and then then this installation and this oil ring same ideology and in that that piston, this oil ring has been 
damage, but I will show that how this opens. It opens same way, and there is this interesting metallic spring in inside this oil ring, but it was broken. Okay, and then when I install this piston ring back, first is that I install this second line first, and it happens so that I insert in here, and then carefully I move that ring in in back in this hole and now it's now we check that it isn't there okay and then when this moves in this way it's okay and then this first ring same ideology that I start to a little bit insert the glider and carefully carefully and, and now these rings are back and this final check is to check that our doors piston rings movable that they move okay and then the last part is this that that what happened if I am a little bit little bit uh, too fast and not not too carefully and I might how I might damage and destroy this piston ring. These piston rings are <coughs> quite a, quite a way really important part parts in this car motor and engine and they they are very very high quality parts and I recommend always to purchase the original parts because because this material compound and this uh, workmanship and tolerances are really critical and they and they affect really much to our cars this power and mom moment and how our car handles and take turns and that's I recommend that always purchase original parts in like in here in Volkswagen parts uh, in Volk Volkswagen dealership and this piston ring set cost something like 200 euros for four pistons okay and then I saw that what happened if I am too fast and not carefully and how this piston ring could bro go broken I, I take it in here and then I think that, that this first piston ring I, I take in here and then I do so that I, I bend this piston ring little bit too much in this way and yes now it's crap and it's so easy and I, I didn't even use a lot of force and this scrap and then in same way in here I think that that I little bit like to bend that and and in this, this Volkswagen it's interesting that this first ring only becomes in in it, it is so flexible but if piston ring becomes in that kind of situation that we have moved that in this way then it is crap we can't install this kind of piston ring in, in here back because then our engine is quite surely damaged because then it looks like in this and, and, and I think that this is totally scrap but this piston is, is still usable we only need to purchase new piston rings and, and then we could also purchase those new pistons and then this engine is even better and these pistons cost something like 100 US dollars per piece and maybe even more but uh, but then our engine is really well and this piston all, of course includes those piston wings okay and this was this information how to disassemble these piston rings and and how to assemble them back okay and thank you for watching this video